Hey there! We have all experienced emergencies and we know they can happen at any time. And when they do, having money set aside can help you get through them without having to rely on loans or credit cards. At Money Habits, where we empower you on your journey towards financial freedom, we'll be showing you 5 simple ways to save for your emergency fund. So let's dive right in. Number 1. Reduce your expenses Reducing your monthly expenses can help you free up money to contribute towards your emergency fund. You need to know exactly how much money you have coming in and going out each month to help you identify areas where you can cut back. For example, since eating out can be expensive, you can consider preparing meals at home more often. You could also take advantage of sales, coupons and discounts to save money on groceries, clothing and other items. Every little reduction helps towards helping you save for your emergency fund. Which brings us to the next point. Number 2. Start small, be consistent. You don't have to save a lot of money all at once for your emergency fund. Start by saving a small amount each week or month and be consistent with your savings plan. First, determine how much money you want to save for your emergency fund and set a realistic goal that you can achieve in a specific time frame. Start with small contributions and gradually increase your contributions as you're able. Increasing your contributions may mean increasing the amount of money you make. And this brings us to the next point. Number 3. Make extra money Making extra money is another way you can increase the amount of money coming in, but may require additional time and effort to help you build your emergency fund more quickly. There are many ways to earn extra money such as looking for items in your home that you no longer need and selling them, or taking on a part-time job or freelance work in your free time such as dog walking, tutoring or delivering food, or offering your services for odd jobs such as lawn care, house cleaning or running errands for people in your community, or participating in online surveys or focus groups with companies who pay to participate. If you have a skill or hobby that you can turn into a business, such as baking or crafting, consider starting a small business to earn extra income. However way you make extra money, you must ensure your increasing savings remain consistent. Which brings us to the next point. Number 4. Automate your savings Automating your savings can help you build your emergency fund without having to think about it. Most banks allow you to set up automatic transfers from your checking account to your savings account on a regular basis. If you don't find this suitable to your situation, then there are many savings apps available that can help you automatically save money. These apps typically link to your checking account and round up your purchases to the nearest currency, depositing the difference into your savings account. In the event you receive a windfall, such as a bonus or a tax refund, you must ensure to adjust your automated savings accordingly. Which brings us to the last and final point. Number 5. Use windfalls wisely. Windfalls such as unexpected bonuses, inheritances or even tax refunds can be a great way to boost your emergency fund. When you receive a windfall, prioritize your emergency fund and use the windfall to build it up. Decide how much of the windfall you want to save for your emergency fund. A good rule of thumb is to save at least 3 to 6 months worth of living expenses. Don't rush into spending the windfall on impulse purchases, but take some time to consider how you can use it wisely. And there you have it folks! 5 simple ways to save for your emergency fund. Reduce your expenses. Start small. Be consistent. Make extra money, automate your savings, and use windfalls wisely. Remember, building an emergency fund takes time and effort, but the key is starting small, being consistent, and sticking to your plan, which will help you reach your goal over time, ensuring you can be prepared for unexpected expenses and have peace of mind. 
Let us know in the comments below how you save for an emergency fund. And if you have found this video useful, then like this video so it can reach more people who need it and subscribe to this channel for more money habits information. Then join us in the next video where we show you 5 simple ways to pay off your debt. Thanks for watching and see you shortly.